Okay, so we're going to be fiberglassing some fins today. Both the, uh, these are Polcat Aerospace Rockets, Big Bubba, Fat Man, building several rockets at once, using West Systems. Going to seem a little slow because I'm doing it with the video. You get five pumps of each. Now yeah, this one, the hardener. Three, four, five. There we go. Mix it right up. Probably not enough yet to cover all the fins. Let's do a few more. One. Two. Let's do another two here. Little jab extra, there we go. Mix it all up. Key thing with any of this is making sure you have everything prepared. As you can see, I have plastic covering the table wax paper underneath the actual fins, paintbrush cup, I have my glue, my epoxy, and now we're going to start painting the epoxy right onto the fins. Want to make sure you get good coverage all over. Gloves are a necessity. Really nasty stuff getting it on your fingers. I'm trying to get it off later. Okay, one fin is done. Make it easy on the second one. We're going to go like this. Another way of doing it. Spreading the epoxy. You know, I know the instructions say you don't... Actually, the instructions don't even have epoxying in them. I like to do it because, you know, you're spending some money on these rockets. And the first thing to go, especially with these longer fin rockets are the fins, especially if they land hard and you're not using the appropriate size parachute. So what we want to do is take a little extra step, make sure that our fins are protected and it'll protect your investment for a long, long time. You know, again, if you're in a rush to build these, it's uh, it's entirely up to you. I mean, this is going to take you an extra an extra day, essentially, because this takes a little bit of time to dry, and we have to do both halves, right? Got to do the other side after this gets dry. So again, I'm painting on the epoxy that I mixed, the West Systems epoxy. It's the only one that I use. Only one I use for this process, anyway. This is the same deal, same thing that you've seen with maybe some of my other rockets, like the Dinosaurs Rocket Extreme, or my Level 3 project, which was the Competitor 6. A lot of those rockets are, I mean, those are real nice rockets. All fiberglass rockets are, no question, those are the best around. 
I really like um, Polecat from What's Up Hobbies because um, they're extreme, they're reasonably priced. You know, I mean, you know, listen, if you're looking for high end, high quality, this is not the um, this is not the type of rocket that you should be building. But if you're looking for something that you can build rather quickly, have a lot of fun with, um, you know, not to worry so much about uh, overall look and appearance. I mean, they can look really, really nice too. I'm not saying that they don't look good, but um, you know, between a all solid fiberglass rocket and a cardboard tube with a cloth around it, it's, it's a little bit of a difference. So, but the price is right. And that's why I like it. And that's why I own a lot of them. Because they're fun to build, easy to build. And um, probably one of the key factors is uh, What's Up Hobbies. They're probably one of the easiest people for me to work with. When Jack says he's gonna do something, he just does it. So I trust him 100%. Okay, so now we just painted the glue on to the Big Bubba fins. Let me get fiberglass. And we're gonna now just simply lay the fiberglass over the fins. Such a simple process. This is why you need gloves. Each fin, you kind of see the glue coming right through the fiberglass. And you want to work each fin this way. And I'm pulling the air bubbles away. I have some rocks holding down the sheets here because it's a little bit breezy in my backyard. These are rocks we got on our fossil digs out in Utah. Trying to prevent air pockets in here. Trying to make sure the glue is completely through. This is beautiful now. This is working out perfectly on this one. Important that you go through this on each fin. Okay, I'm gonna move to the third one. Oh, these are gonna be nice. See, with the big bubba fins, they're pretty long. And you better make sure you have the right size parachute so this doesn't land too hard. So even if I had to use on a windy day a lesser parachute than I normally would, I know since I'm fiberglassing the fins that it is now twice as strong as it used to be. Real simple, real easy, real fast process to do. A diesel looking perfect, last fin to work on for this rocket. Remember, it's only half, so I gotta get through the other half when I'm done with this or when this dries, which will be, I'll check it again in about three, four hours. Okay, big bubba fins, almost done. Real cool, I love this rocket, because I mean, when I grew up, the SD's Big Bertha, that was, uh, that was a cool rocket. Only 24 inches tall, right? So this one, at Whoops Up Hobbies, they made uh, over an eight, eight, foot, eight foot tall Big Bertha, essentially. They don't call it Big Bertha, they call it Big Bubba, but essentially looks the same. So we had to add it as part of our collection. So again, making sure all the air bubbles are out. 
Must wear gloves, must wear gloves. All right, we're checking all the fins now, so that make sure the epoxy is coming through the fiberglass. No air pockets. Trying to get some out here. Double check this fin. One, two, have garbage nearby, and there you have it.